Um, so the stream happened about a a little bit over a week ago. Um, I found myself walking down kind of an alleyway of trees. I believe they were pine trees. There's a heavy kind of pine cone scent in the air, enough that was causing the nasal cavity to tingle some. And I just just found myself just strolling down through a center row. Um, it was it was interesting. There were kind of bird crunch noises, um, like just kind of little animals scurrying in in the branches and on kind of like the the kind of it really wasn't a forest. It was just I don't know just. I guess a pine tree forest of some sort. Um, and it's just, it was, it was bright as day out above me and there was plenty of sunlight, but where I was at was kind of more dark and shady. And uh, it was interesting uh, as I continued walking down this kind of, hallway area it started kind of uh separating out as if the 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 branches were spreading open for me the further i went um uh, as i progressed down um i'm I'm not entirely sure but i see this bearded old man and uh, I don't know. He was just kind of just staring at me. It, he was like he was in front of me, but not quite. And just, I don't know. Um, I had stopped walking, but then he started floating towards me. Uh, <clears throat> he was just kind of beckoning me, I guess. Um, but he was just floating, kind of like legs crossed. Um, he kind of had dark brown, maybe black like hair, kind of a uh, kind of a salt and pepper beard. <clears throat> and I'm not entirely sure. Um, he just became wide-eyed the closer he got to me and he just started smiling um and i'm not entirely sure why he was smiling at me but he just i don't know just his his arms kind of reached out and he still was continuing to approach me but for some reason i couldn't really tell if he was getting closer at some point or not but yet there was a perception he was getting closer um and just i seen his lips start to move and i i couldn't quite make out what was going on or what he was saying because I, I couldn't hear it but his lips was definitely moving and uh, just it's as if he was trying to tell me something that I was not entirely sure what he was saying. Um, but then he just stepped, kept coming closer, but really wasn't coming closer. And then it, it like it repeated again as if I was kind of, stuck kind of in this this loop of some sort and the second i would realize that i was stuck in this 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 loop of this kind of older man with black hair and kind of a a little bit shorter salt and pepper beard just it's just we kind of got stuck he was pretty close but it wasn't that far away. And then when I was thinking he was starting to get close again, it's as if he's further away again. 
And at this point, I'm not too sure what's going on because he's getting closer. At least to me, it seemed like he was getting closer. But I don't, I don't know. It's just, it was odd because we were just stuck in this time loop, and it kept going around and around and around. But each, each passing moment or each time, time itself seemed to loop in on itself. It just slightly warped a little bit. Um, some of the sounds of the animals scurrying in the leaves and the trees would become a little bit more distorted, little by little. And every time it'd come back around, it would reset to back to that old guy getting closer, but yet not getting closer. And then it just kept repeating again and again. It, it felt like thousands upon thousands of iterations of these occurred. But at some point it broke. And it was as if, how do I put it? Um, it just kind of tossed me off to the right side. And it reset again. But this was a little bit different. Um, but then it just repeated again. And he started to get closer. But really not. Um, and just... Uh, I don't know. It, it just kept repeating again and again. And then I, I seen someone. Um... It was the old man again, but this time it was down a different direction from behind me. I had looked back towards the forward direction I was walking, and the old man was there again, and he made eye contact and smiled real big. And then he was getting closer, and then it just it did the reset thing again. But this time it flung me off to the right as it started to do it. And then I turn around, and then there's that other old man behind me. And I just repeated a few more times, or what felt like a few more times, but I'm sure it went on again. And then I noticed off to my left, the path was open. But at this point, I'm remembering that left is usually not a good thing. And despite this seemed to be the only direction I was safe, I I really couldn't just I couldn't get down the left path. So then I turned back around and seeing the old man behind me, and then I looked back forward, and there was that old man again, smiling and getting closer. But this time instead of flying off to the right, I flew upwards. Then, as, as if nothing happened, I started all the way back at the beginning of the dream, where I'm just walking down this pinewood forest area. And then I'm walking forward. The trees are separating like before. And the old man appears. And we got locked in another cycle where he started to get closer. He was smiling again much earlier this time, and his eyes are getting wider. His his kind of like salty, it was kind of like a black, peppery, salty beard and pristine, like almost dark brown, black hair. Ah. And then we locked eyes again, and it began to repeat again. He was getting closer, but not closer. This happened many more times. I started looking behind me. Another one appeared. I would look back forward. And he's getting closer again. The, so I'm pretty sure this was more than one dream back to back. I, I, I woke up at some point in here. And because I, I drank a lot of water before bed. And I know when you wake up and go back to sleep. Sometimes you can have far more vivid dreams, but 
I kind of fell back asleep. Then uh, felt something a little wet. And, but I ignored it. And I was back in the same dream again, where I'm walking down the Pinewood Forest. The further I go, the wider the trees are opening up. And then there's the old man. And he's there again, smiling at me. The only thing different is just the air just feels really damp. But, you know, I mean, I'm in the uh, kind of a pine forest. I guess it's okay. So he starts getting closer. And then he's smiling. We lock eyes. His eyes get really big this time. And his pupils dilate kind of like kind of like a cat's would when they're hyper-focusing on something. And then he got closer again. And I looked behind me. The old man was there. But this time he was smaller. But then he started getting closer, but wasn't. It, it was weird. It was like a physical sensation of getting closer, but he wasn't. But yet, the air just started feeling more and more wet around me on this iteration. And I'm I'm starting to get warm with like chills. It's weird. Then it happened again. I look back forward. I see the other guy. But these are all the same guys. Just kind of black hair, pepper salt, more kind of on the black side beard. I um, mean and I notice more details. He's he has a little bit of a tan or something, but this one's eyes get really, really big. This is like comically big on his face. And he, he gets closer and this time he actually does get closer. But not by much. I mean like maybe 10, 15 feet. And then I get launched off to the right. And then suddenly I'm back on the path again. The old man's looking at me. He's getting closer and closer. And then suddenly I reset back at the very beginning, walking down the forest trails with the, the pine woods. But now things are even wetter. I mean, I, I feel like I'm, I'm just I'm drenched at this point. And then there's the old guy. He starts approaching, smiling. Eyes look normal, but kind of wide. And he gets closer and closer. Back up to where he was closest the last time, but yet he's still approaching, but not getting closer. And I'm just feeling really wet. And then I turn around, and now there's more of them, not just one old man. There's like 20 of them. And they all start doing the same thing. They're getting closer, but not closer. It's like, it's like movement without physically actually moving and at this point they're starting to surround me on all sides i get launched off to the right and then it repeats and then suddenly i i woke up and it, it's it's a little little embarrassing but when i thought i was going to the restroom I actually wasn't awake. I, I, I kind of peed in the bed a little bit, or we all more do than that. a little bit. That happens sometimes. Yeah, I've had it too, where I thought I was going, and all of a sudden, uh, I keep these little water bottles next to me because I wake up every hour or two all night long. I purposely do that, and I keep these little containers next to my bed on the floor. And I just reach over and grab them and use them. Uh, but I've had it, uh, you know, just very seldom where I thought I was using the create, you know, the personal self thought it was using it, but all of a sudden I went to bed. And so uh, it's not embarrassing. It's so what? I get the idea here. So that's Wait, basically it. That's you, okay. You keep bottles next to your bed too? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was the only one that ever did that. No, a lot of people do. What I do is I, uh, I eat a lot of coconut oil, and so the smaller containers that are, uh, I think they're 
32 ounces. I keep those. I, I save them. I save a lot of containers. Yeah, 32 ounces or 30 ounces. And I save those containers and uh, I just rinse them out, but I keep them all near my bed because uh, I drink a lot of water, liquids, fruits, stuff like that. And so sometimes I'll fill up two or even three of those containers during the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I keep next to my bed. I don't want to be getting up. Yeah, no, I, it, it wakes it, you up. Well, no, I, I'm fine. But see, you're different, Phil. Now, you have a job, right? You have a job. You got to go to work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you do? Oh, I'm, I, I am a plumber. That's right. You're a plumber. And I apologize. You're on the East Coast, so you're three hours. So we're starting at midnight when we do a nine o'clock here, right? Yeah, yeah. We can do this earlier for you. Okay, I apologize because you're three no, hours in that fine. part. No, I it's, work construction. I know. I know how it is. This is a Wednesday, and you many times got to go to work in the next day. So we can adjust this. It's fine. But let's go over your experience. It's really very simple.